Hi, it's Keith Townsend from VirtualizedGeek.com with, you know what, I'm, I can't get away from doing these just interesting, cool videos. I think uh, it's getting to the point where this is not even getting challenging anymore or fun. VMware is making this so incredibly simple. So currently I have VirtualBox running and inside of VirtualBox I have a Windows 8.1 VM. You can see this guy here. I'm going to go ahead and log into it. And this is a, a eval of Windows 8.1 Enterprise Evaluation Edition. Let's take a look at the task manager in this guy. Basically, we have a single core, single processors, virtualized. Of course, and then uh, memory, I have a gig of memory with 50% of that memory used. i7-3770, 3.4 gigahertz, so, you know, nothing special. And then on the other end, of, I have a Windows 10 VM that's finishing up the install. Obviously, it's running. Uh, I'll play around with that as well. And this is running in VirtualBox. So I have two VirtualBox VMs running, a Windows 8.1, a Windows 10. And then let's take a, take a look at my host that's running VirtualBox. This guy is a, I have four cores. Again, i7, 3.4 gigahertz. From a memory perspective, I have eight gig of RAM. And I'm using 4.4 gig of that memory. So pretty impressive that I have both Windows 10 running and Windows 8.1. And I'm only using 4.4 gig of the a lot of 8 gig of RAM. My hard disk is thrashing like crazy. I probably should have put this on the SSD. But I'm only doing this lab for a short period of time. All that would be fine. There's really nothing special about running Windows 8.1 Windows 10 on a fairly robust host. This host does have 8 gig of RAM. What makes this all terribly interesting is that this is all running inside of a VM that's running the VMware workstation. So I have a Windows 8.1 machine running VirtualBox that's also running Windows 10 and Windows 8.1 and that's in VMware Workstation, which is running, uh, VMware Workstation is running on a Windows 7 host. So I think that's pretty freaking cool. It's extremely easy. There really wasn't, when I did this back a couple of years ago, I had to do all kind of crazy configurations. I really didn't. I installed the Windows 8.1 machine as a Hyper-V host install VirtualBox, and then from there it was pretty straightforward. I installed all of the OS's as if I was installing uh, the OS's natively on 8.1 with VirtualBox. whoop de doo comment on the post, visit me on virtualizedgeek.com. I don't know if there's really much questions that you can ask. If you have an AMD V supported processor or an Intel VT processor, anything with uh, hardware virtualization support, you can do this. And Plenty of RAM. This system has, my physical host has 40, I'm sorry, 24 gig of RAM. So you most definitely want to have at least 16 gig of RAM. You're going to play around with a lab like this. That's it. Talk to you guys next uh, video.